And you were telling me that your father's picture is over on the wall over there. Tell me a little bit about your and his dad. Your dad's name is Al. Al Frank. Uh, and that was the beginning of. of no, my grandfather in oh. 1906. His name was Sam Frank. Oh. And we started Tokyo Theaters back in 1928. He built the first one in Philadelphia, put the uh, and opened it showing uh, the jazz singer with Al Jolson. Oh my. A little bit of history of my grandfather. His first job was playing Al Jolson's double. And he had done some on and off screen work as Al Jolson's double. So long long history in the movie business, long history in entertainment, family entertainment with bowling and arcades and laser arenas. And we think that uh, Merrill's Inlet is an area that will enjoy what we brought to them. Earlier you are saying up and down the coast we're going to see this sort of thing? Or we're seeing it already. Yes. How far up the coast do we go? We go as far north as Syracuse, New York, and as far south as Miami Beach, Florida. Wow. So we operate in eight states, and we're continuing to grow in those states. We're doing a project uh, this next year in Cary, North Carolina. Uh, we're doing another project in Valley Springs. We're doing a project in Delray Beach, Florida. Uh, we have theaters that operate already in the Carolinas. We're in Conway. In Horry County, we operate in Southern Pines, North Carolina, in Sanford, North Carolina, uh, in Shalot. Uh, we operate in Hayes Valley, West Virginia, Atlantic City, Philadelphia, uh, Georgia, and throughout the, both sides of the state in Florida, whether it's on the Naples side or on the Miami side. So if you walk in the door, what are you going to find? You're going to find fun. You're going to find things to do for the family. If the kids want to watch a movie and the parents want to bowl, or if the parents want to watch a movie and the kids want to bowl, everybody's under one roof. And the nice part is, they can all meet for dinner. See it because I was a good friend of his because he was a good movie customer. And that's where I first met him at the movie theater. And his wife and her mother hardly ever missed a picture. And when they would come together, I'd always say to Mrs. Spillane, where's Mickey today? She'd say he didn't want to see this picture, right? <laughs> but I would read any time I met him around, we would always have a nice conversation because at one time Mickey lived in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and I lived in North Jersey, which was about 40 miles away from Elizabeth. I knew where it was, and we always had nice talks. And the last time I ever did see Mickey prior to his death was at the doctor's office. I was there waiting to, and he came in and he went up to the window to check in, and then the nurse says to him, Mickey, you're late for your appointment. And he laughed, as he always did. He was a joyful fella, always full of... Uh